Hi sis, welcome to your 22 till 30 April general reading with Major Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. Let's see what the universe has for you. There is a message here that want to come out. Who are you? The star energy. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Star energy is that Aquarius energy. It is just a confirmation there for you, Pisces, that you have been aligned with this really powerful, powerful energy in the age of Aquarius. And look what's underneath it, the fool. So there is a powerful new start for you. All right? There is an absolutely powerful new start for you, Pisces, and this message wants to come out. Because it literally just came out like victory and success in every way, shape, and form. This is really, really powerful. This is going to be a powerful reading. All right? This is going to be one powerful reading. I can feel it in my bones for you, Pisces. Dealing with a Pisces, wherever you've got Pisces in your chart, crosswatch, however you came here, there is a message here for you. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. There is a message here for you, okay, for Pisces. I'm going to end off the reading with a card from the Sot Tarot. Because there's lots of serious energies happening this week, so I'm thought is serious, so, you know, drawing from the top. Okay, let's see. Pisceans, Pisceans, Pisceans. Full moon energy then, follow water sign energy, Scorpio, on the 23rd. I'm actually doing a beautiful three days um, journey there for the full moon. Um... I can't even remember the dates. 22, 23, and 24 April. There's more about it in the description if you're interested. Beautiful three days journey there. The devil energy. There's some releases that have been taking place here for you recently. Some things have come to light, basis, And it wasn't pleasant at all. Oh, this is the, oh I'm, I'm so sorry. Like this, this is one of those spaces where... Everything just, it, it's so hard, you know, but it's also, it's a space of growing. And I'm going to say something to you, Pisces, that you're not going to like, but it's the honest truth. And if you can accept this, all the better for you. You have really got some clarity on so many ways in which you were just holding yourself back. In ways that you had expectations from others, expectations that they couldn't meet. Um... Yeah, there were there, there's just things here that you were dealing with. You may have become very aware of some of the things that were holding you back, some of the binds that were tying you, traumas that you were holding on to that you may not even have known about. You know, um, you may have just been very confused. Why is life going in a funky direction? But there were things that you were holding on to which really were not benefiting you at all. And you gain some clarity on that, you gain some awareness on that, and that subsequently, re you know, leads to release. Because with awareness comes more choice than, you know, um, more choice than you were sort of like aware of, you know, more options than you were aware of. Um, and it's a hurtful release, but it's also a freeing release. You know, it's when we realize that, you know, with the devil, we've been pointing to everyone and everything. And, you know, this person's wrong and that person's wrong. And it's this person's fault and that person's fault. Until we sort of real, you know, reach this awakening realization that it's sort of like been us all along, that we've been holding ourselves back. And that is a very freeing thing. It's not necessarily an easy thing. Um, you know, so it's not necessarily an easy thing, but it's a good thing. Okay. Not the easiest things to deal with, but it's a very good thing, okay? And if you are open to the benefits that come from this, because, you know, this energy subsequently, it, it comes with, um, with beneficial things. You know, place your hand on your heart with me, and let's breathe in together and welcome in the changes, the positive changes that follows after the hurt and the pain. Let's breathe in. And breathing out, releasing all resistance across all levels, times, spaces, and dimensions and possibilities. <sighs> Letting it go. Let your holy guardian angel take that on and release it for you. Okay? Let's release it and let's let it go. Let's see what are the possibilities in the present moment for you, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Um, I mean, there's this full moon, which is in the fixed sign of Scorpio. And this is a very, you know, it's a very plonking, stomping down energy. Yes, this is what it is. Not changing my mind. Uh, uh, no way, Jose. You know, so you may have found yourself being more firm recently 
you know, and in this week, but you may have found yourself becoming more firm than you may have been before. You know, maybe you let things kind of like slide and let go and stuff like that, and you were like, ah, ah, this is what it is, and it ain't nothing other than that. All right? Eight of Wands and the Justice Energy for your current space. So you are really putting your foot down. So and, and that actually means that you are in alignment with this full moon energy because this full moon energy is about putting your foot down. Scorpio is a fixed sign, you know, where you may say, well, you know, if we kind of look at it like this and like that, you know, as our typical, um, you know, Pisces and maybe even cancer energies might say sometimes, even though cancer can be a little bit of a stubborn nut to crack sometimes, I would know I am one, <laughs> you know. But this is an energy where you stand firm for what you want you are very clear about what is to your benefit and what is not. And I can only see you benefiting from that, you know. So I see you getting a balance here between giving and um, sort of like receiving because eight of ones just on its own is that energy of overcompensating, of trying too hard, of maybe doing the right thing, but just doing so much of it that that in itself becomes overwhelming. You're finding the balance here. You are finding the balance here, and this is an amazing thing for you, Pisces. And that is also how you really merge into that energy, that Aquarius energy that, remember, just popped out for you right there in the start. You know, that powerful um, activation energy for you, all right? So don't be afraid to say no, okay? Don't you be, don't you be afraid to say no, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, okay? You don't even need to give explanations because I do see that that can sometimes go into a little bit of a different sort of vibe. It can become almost like a little bit like a tacky, you know, when you go like about why you're saying no. Because you might just be firm in how you are communicating, but someone else might perceive it as an attack. All right. So please hear, so please hear me. Sorry for shaking the camera. So please hear me and please hear me well, um, Pisces. When I say Scorpio, now Scorpio can be a little bit like that. Pisces, hear me and hear me well. All right. Be careful of um, too much explanation. This is a judgment, this is released. Remember that everything is a passing moment. Everything is a passing experience. You are moving into a powerful, beautiful new dimension. However you are coming across this reading, be you a Pisces, be you not a Pisces, had you been following me all along, had you been coming across just by chance, there is real intention in my reading. So if you are hearing this message, you are meant to hear this message. I told you this is going to be one of those powerful readings. You can feel the energy right from the start. You are letting go of who and what and whatever energy is no longer serving you positively. All right? You are flipping the script. Okay? You are flipping the script completely. Okay? Some people better watch out. <laughs> oi! Oi, 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 oi. Pisces, you're flipping the script, and some people better watch out, all right? They better watch out. You're not here to play. And you're not here to attack nobody or cut nobody down to sides either. You're just here to do your thing. You want peace, and you will, you know, go for the peace and defend it against all costs. I can tell. All right? You tapped into your energy. You started to really tap into your energy, Pisces. That mercury energy, that creative energy, that divine creative energy, that yet you know that alignment. So you change dimensions there to align in the dimension where you want to be. So that you know when we say manifest, manifestation is really alignment because we create nothing new. Nothing is new. Nothing. Nada. Not a single thing. You know. And you somehow came to really realize that, and it's like you just went with it. So, you know, whether you have been, look at that peace. What is the seven of cups? Peace for you. Peace in the dark. You're the light in the dark. You're the person who's not allowing yourself to be affected by the dark any law. You're like, fuck this shit. Not doing it. You know? Not embracing the dark. Okay? Let's embrace the light. Let's embrace the light. Let's embrace the light. Okay? Three of Wands, everything is coming to you. Pisces, you're going to find this hard to believe. All right? You are going to find this so hard to believe. But when I say everything is coming to you, I mean everything is coming to you. The opportunities, the breakthrough, the money, the right people, the right time, the synchronicities, the entire enchilada is coming to you. Okay? 
all of it just coming to you just like that okay what's going on this card is calling me so i'm going to draw it princess of pentacles you are starting something new pisces this is so beautiful i've, I've literally got tears in my eyes right now as i'm sharing this with you this is just so beautiful you know that life that you thought that you could never have, that dream that you thought you could never have, that experiences, love, the peace, the prosperity, the serenity, the, 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 the freedom. It's beginning to all come to your place. It's, you're beginning to create it more and more every single day, more and more and more. It's beautiful. Okay? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay? Just give yourself that break. You can rest in peace now, knowing that everything you desire is coming your way. And Pisces, if you are interested in building that beautiful life, spiritual growth, personal growth, emotional growth, learning to read cards, then check out the links for my courses down below in the description. Seven of Swords. You started to step away from that drama. You started to step away. It may have been painful, yes, because remember, there is that devil energy, but then there's also the magician energy. You know, and this is the thing. Once we let go of the things that we're holding on to, and what we're holding on to, however you play it or portray it or whatever, it's always fear. All right? So once you let go of that fear, once you release it and set it free, you're like, you open yourself for everything to come to you. There's no longer any need, you know, to, um, you know, sort of like overcompensate. There's no need for that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, there is the devil energy again. You have released a lot. And this is the message that you want to know. Okay. You have released a lot, but you've released enough. You've yielded enough for now. All right. You've yielded enough for now. Take a break. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay. Time to stop doing and start receiving. There is a connection here for you. Marriage, high-level commitment, soul family commitment, improvement in health, improvement in well-being, improvement in your everyday. It's like you are seeing the world through these new eyes, like you recently awakened. You know? It's almost like you may have been walking through the world blind, blinded by the past. But it's like, you know, it's like the blinders have fallen off your eyes now, Pisces. You can see now. All right. It's literally like that. Seven of Pentacles. King of Wands. Yes. How do you get to the next level and the next level and the next level? By embracing your emotions. That beautiful gentleness about you. That kindness about you. That softness that you so fiercely protect because so many people have been taking advantage of it. Now is the time for you, Pisces, to really be fully yourself. And that includes all your emotions, full blown. You've been having difficulty operating in this world. Because you've been suppressing your emotions. It didn't feel safe to just, you know, tap into them or at least portray them for others to see. So you, like, put them in this fortress. But that in itself disconnects you from the very essence of who you are. And then that actually brings more problems, not less. Because now you're out of alignment with what is good. All right? But now that you're back in alignment, you're seeing how you've been holding yourself back. This is a week of enlightenment for you. All right? This for you is a week of enlightenment. You are really, really beginning to see yourself. Okay? It's a week of enlightenment for you. All right? You are really powerfully waking up and realizing, oh my gosh, you know? Fiddlesticks, what have I been doing? Okay? And so... Here's the thing. You are who you are. And when you like to give, when you like to do, then give and do. But you are getting to give and do and share that beauty of who you are, that kindness of who you are, with souls that genuinely appreciate it and that don't take advantage of you. 
you know, it doesn't take your kindness for weakness. But not only understand that it's strength, but appreciates that it's strength. So this is really beautiful. You're getting to really, really serve and in ways that really, really warms your heart. All right? Let me know what you think about that in the comments if you are ready. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Please like the video. It helps my channel to grow. Really appreciate it. Okay? Let's end up with a message from Thought. Thought is always the big message. There's a card that wants to come out. Hey. 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 Pisces. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Choose to be you. Choose to be light. Choose to be happy. Again, choose to shine. Choose to be successful. Choose to not be a victim of the past. Choose to like go for what works and what doesn't, let it go. If they don't call, if they don't reach out, if they don't text back, if it's always a mission, if it always comes from you, if it never works, choose to say, you know what, I'm not going to let the shit affect me. Love your life, love you, Pisces, love you, be you. Okay? Love your life. Embrace your life. If they get it, they get it. If they don't get it, they don't get it. If they're on board, they're on board. If they're not on board, they're not on board. You have been living by other people's measure, not from their side, but from your side, for late to long. Love by your own measure now. Okay? Pisces, I wish you the best with. It's as powerful energy as this week. It might be a bit heavy for you. There's a releasing of jealousies and aftershocks and things that we never know we were holding on to. So this week might be a little bit rough, but it is beautiful healing. This week is going to really set you on, a, on, on such a prosperous path. So just hang in there, okay? Just hang in there. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for a couple of days. But you've got what it takes, okay? Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe so that you can know and be notified when your next weekly reading is uploaded and also for all the other free resources that I offer you. Pisces, I'm going to see you next time. Wish you all the best. Beauty, love, and light. Ciao, ciao, ciao.